Okay, I'm gonna make a little video here on what to do when your Nissan 2008 uh, standard model, I think it's the SL model, um, comes up with a P1777 code. It's uh, marking the step motor circuitry for the uh, a step. It's called the step motor, but it's actually an actuator in the uh, transmission on top of the um, on top of the uh, actuator body inside the transmission. So, and you can see here the car is on, pedals all the way down, little to nothing at all. Okay, guys, this is uh, kind of a short video. I'm skipping a lot of the. Uh, mundane uh, aspects of the video taking off the pan or whatever but here's a, a tip for you guys that uh, take a look at the valve body there okay guys I'm gonna cut into the video real quick and skip the original instructions I had for which bolts need to be removed you can see here in the pictures uh, at various angles and you can figure which bolts you're gonna need to remove to get that valve body off and Right now, this is the only one that's holding it up. You can see it's already it's already loose All right, this is the last one now you're gonna get a bunch of spillage When when you drop it, you know, in fact, it should be done already because I it's, it's already kind of plopped down So you can see the gaskets broke uh, the seal uh, Remember you got to get those two in the back that is where uh, 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 that is where this little bracket goes okay it's a bracket that, that's used to hold on the uh, filter you're gonna get some spillage when the filter comes out then when you drop this pan you're gonna get uh, uh, the, drop the actuator body you're gonna get a lot more fluid so uh, I'm gonna drop this one and, and this whole thing will come out so uh, I'm gonna get this off uh, the brackets as you can see are off. I left these here. I Left these here. It's gonna go tucked in right here on the side actually right here. All right and uh, I'll next thing we'll see is the um, The step motor up on top that we're gonna have to disconnect. I'm gonna have to get back here and disconnect the uh, the harness and stuff like that to get the valve body completely off and then uh, we'll pick it up when it's off okay got the valve body off Just a couple of things it's a real quick connector real easy standard standard you know little tab you push down it connects right here you know very easy to come off this tab here needs to engage up here okay that's where it pivots so, and it will match, but it has to be locked down. And be careful, you can see there, it already came off the step motor. This, this is the step motor right up here. That we'll, I'll get to that here in a little bit. The other thing to remember is that there is a sleeve on the shifter stand here. Just like this. And it fits into the bottom of the actuator body. The actuator body goes up there, and then this little sleeve goes in there. All right? So, those are a couple of things to remember. I recommend that, that uh, you know you keep something clean here where all the bolts can go. Just about all the bolts are long, and the ones that are short, you you'll see they're countersunk or whatnot in the uh, in the actuator body. All right, all the other ones, all just about every single other one is long. All right, let's get the uh, actuator body out and uh, replace that step motor. Okay, guys, um, I'm actually showing this at the. Well, by the time this is edited, this is going to be here towards the front of the video. Take a look at the empty holes, the bolt holes, okay? Those are the only bolts that you need to take out, okay? By the way, these are removed only because I took off the harness uh, brackets and left them uh, underneath the vehicle, all right? Otherwise, you wouldn't even need to remove these, but if uh, this this connector is very easy to take off so I went ahead and removed it and I took off the bracket that goes in three, these three holes right here all right so just go ahead and take them off 
and uh, you can leave the brackets and the wires hanging there. But take a look. These are the only, obviously, these are the only ones you need to take out. I've got the damn actuator body right here. Okay. Here's the step motor. Give you all a pan out. Let's take a look real quick. Piece of cake. I shouldn't have said that, but, you know, I don't want to tear up the gloves, so she's use a little screwdriver, push down a little bit, slides right out. There you go. Okay, these little bolts right here are five millimeter. And if your luck is anything like mine, you'll see that I've got this sitting on a on a cleaned out uh, oil pan, uh, oil catch container, uh, put the plugs in, put the plugs in, okay, because if you're like me, you're going to drop both of these, I won't now because I got the plugs in, but mechanics law says if there's a little hole that's accessible to a rolling bouncing bolt, it's going to land in there, all right, this is our replacement uh, step motor. I'm going to replace this. I mean, piece of cake goes in the vertical. Oh, it's locked in the vertical position, so you can't. This doesn't turn. You know, so you can't put it on wrong. Take out your little bolts. Throw this trash away, replace it. Now, what I have seen for these little bolts uh, in all data for just about everything that attaches to anything, uh, these small size bolts, usually around 89 inch pounds, okay? It's not that tight, all right? Just make it pretty snug. Don't, don't kill it. In fact, it's probably better if you use something like this because you don't have a lot of leverage to, to be breaking stuff off. But just make it nice and snug. All right. Gonna reattach our the plunger and reattach your, your uh, harness, snaps right in there. There's one thing, I'll bring you guys in closer so you can see, because this is where I'm in a conundrum. What I'm going to do is go back and look at a video to be extra sure. Let's see where we're looking, right here. Right here. This up so I can see it in the camera. Okay. There is a hole. Make sure you feed it through the actu the uh, actuator, the step motor, right? Okay. You've got a little hole right here. Right here. There's a little hole that goes all the way through the valve body. Right here. Okay. Oh. This little hole right here. God damn it. This little hole right here, okay? I'll zoom in on it so you can see it better with the, with, when I edit this, okay? There's a little hole there. What I am not sure of, and I'm gonna go check a couple videos because I've got time. I'm gonna check to make sure that I'm supposed to use that little hole and not, because you have to lock this actuator back down, okay? What I did notice is that there's another bolt that comes through right here, okay? So I'm gonna go check right now if I'm supposed to take that bolt out and put a wrench through there, uh, an Allen wrench to keep it locked like this, or if I just gotta put something through there to keep it locked right here, okay? Because it will come all the way out. 
Okay, I'm gonna go and, and double check that right now before uh, we continue so that I can let you guys know for sure which way uh, it's supposed to go. Okay guys, we are continuing today with our step motor replacement. It's gonna be a DTC P1777. The P1777 is an electrical code that is sent when the circuitry to the step motor fails, okay? It's real important that you understand that 1777 is an electric code. I'm gonna put this correction in here. It's very important. I saw a couple of videos that had the proper procedure set up and about four videos that had the wrong procedure. I did the wrong procedure when I put the valve body back the actuator body, I guess it is. Uh, and let me show you what the problem is. If you take off and the transmission will not shift after 40 miles an hour and it stays at 3,000 RPM and you get a 1778 code, this is what you did wrong. So I'm hoping that you'll follow this correction right now. This is pretty important. Um, to put your valve body or your actuator body back in the transmission. Okay, I have seen <clears throat> videos that tell you to lock this lever all the way back and to take out this screw right here and to put uh, uh, an Allen wrench or something up through that hole and lock this all the way back. That, did, that does not work, that's not the correct procedure. And if you think about, when you set, sit and look at it now, this is the valve that is controlled by your step motor, okay? Hope you can see that step motor is fully extended right now, okay? So, if you have it locked all the way back in this position, that's as far as this is going to be able to move, okay? And actually what will happen is, and I heard it, I put it back up there when I pulled out the, uh, the rod from this, this little hole here from the screw I took out, I heard a, a pretty significant click. And what happened is, is that this thing actually goes all the way back and it hits that, that the peg on the inside rests about right here. So what happened is this thing went back and it hit the peg, okay? And it still does not allow the complete freedom of movement. There is a hole here with a channel. Let me turn here so you can see it. This hole right here has a channel, okay? This is the hole that you are supposed to use to lock it in that position right there. This allows this to move much more freely. See, it can pivot a lot more. It's locked in this position, it pivots right here, but it allows this to move all this length right here. When it was sitting about right there, you can see that it's kept in and it's not allowed to go all the way out. And that gave me a 1778 code, okay? It's real important that you remember to use this little tiny hole right here. You can see it's got, it's got an indentation, it's got a groove here already, a channel. Right? Obviously this little Allen wrench is going to go from the underneath, right? But that is where it's supposed to go. Do not use this hole. This holds the wrong one. And you will get a 1778 code. Okay? Do not lock it back all the way here. You're supposed to use this little channel that you can see right here. Alright? And there, yes, the hole does go all the way through. Alright, so... Uh, I'm putting out YouTube videos every once in a while for things like this, and I appreciate the people that do. Uh, the step motor is the whole uh, reason why I disassembled the uh, actuator body, and uh, but it's important that we do it the right way, guys. I I, I never saw uh, anybody turn around and say, "Hey, uh, wait a minute, that didn't work. What happened?" Everybody finishes their video. Hey, it's fixed. It's perfect. It's not going to be perfect. Okay, here we go now. You 
can see now it's adjusting. We're at 40 already. It's already dropped a step. And there you can see we're at 60 and we're at 2100 RPM. Yep, you got to make sure you keep that little lever. There you go, man. That was the problem. You guys are getting a P1778. You've uh, blocked off that lever incorrectly. Slowing down here, making a UE. You can see the transmission is adjusting properly. Slow down here, no traffic. It was stuck at 3,000 RPM at 40 miles an hour before, but you can see now. Now it's adjusting the way it's supposed to. Call this a fix. I'm gonna go back and just double check or to uh, clarify again. You can see now it's releasing and the step, uh, if you're monitoring the uh, transmission control module, the step should be at about 55, 60 when you're doing 60 miles an hour. It doesn't correlate directly to the speed. I'm just saying that's where the range that it's supposed to be in. And uh, it was at 197 trying to max out because it was incorrectly situated, that lever. See, now it lets go, man. That's a fix. Outstanding. Okay, guys, it was a fix. A definite fix. I'm going to go back and put comments in all those other videos. Uh, I, I appreciate all the videos that, that everybody makes. Uh, but using that, uh, that larger diameter hole to block that rod all the way back... It's the wrong position. It's the wrong position. So just take note of that. If you get a 1778, that is a mechanical code. Something, something, the sensors are picking up that the system is not responding mechanically the way the transmission control module is, is uh, commanding. A 1777, that's an electric code. That is the circuitry of the step motor. So uh, that, that will definitely take care of that problem thing I wanted to notice, uh, to mention, when the first time when I had the, used the incorrect uh, uh, hole to block in that lever, when I took out the Allen wrench, I could hear a click, click, I mean, I mean, noticeable. And it occurred to me, I was like, wow, that, that thing shouldn't have moved that much. The second time when I used the proper uh, orifice to keep that lever blocked back, when I pulled it out, I didn't hear a thing. Okay, so uh, that's how, that I know. That's how I know that that it was seated properly. But uh, you saw in the video, took it out, shifting exactly the way it's supposed to. So um, thank you guys for watching. I hope I hope uh, you guys didn't run into the same problem that I did. Uh, I'm, I'm really glad I waited till the weekend to take care of this. So uh, thanks for watching again, and we'll see you on the next one.